Yo, what up, YouTube? Shotgun Shogun here. If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you're not new to the channel, welcome back. Uh, this is going to be a pretty quick one. I just saw this Epic 7 notice regarding transfer of operations of Japanese service. Now, uh, what does this mean? Well, this is from official Yostar. Now, if you don't know, Yostar is handling the publishing of Epic 7 in Japan. Now, this has been in the past kind of seen with mixed results, right? Yostar is a very big company, uh, Arc Knights, Azure Lane, stuff like that. Uh, thinking that, you know, Yostar in Japan had a really big name and that things would go very well. Now, I can say that, you know, their handling of social media is good, although they do tend to leak things a little bit earlier. Uh, their live streams are pretty good, although, again, kind of leaky a little bit bit, but they are very well produced, right? Um, so one of the things that's kind of interesting is the fact that Yostar is being pulled out of the equation now, whether this is, you know, something from Smilegate's side or Yostar's side, uh, I'm not 100% sure, right? Um, so it is kind of interesting. We did just get the RTA server mergers with Japan. So this is potentially something where Smilegate may have been like, hey, look, you know, we're going to allow you to help us out while we on ramp the JP servers. But once everything is squared away and one to one, there really doesn't need to be a middleman in Japan, right? Because the smile, because the servers are all caught up and everybody is on the same thing. This could be the reason for that. But let's read this. Yostar uh, representative, um, director Lee Heng, Heng T. Uh, anyways, is an app game for smartphones, Epic 7. This is Google translated, by the way, so it's not very good, um, which was operated by the company under the leadership of Smilegate Megaport uh, with regard to Epic 7. Um, so with the termination of the joint publishing contract signed with Smilegate in 2019, the operation operations in Japan region will be transferred to Smilegate Megaport with the goal of the end of May 2022. So this is going to be uh, the end of 2022. Now, this does say under the agreement of both companies, we are pleased to inform you that we have decided in addition, when transferring the operational business, there is no need for special procedures and there is no effect on any assets, game data, anything like that held by the customers. Well, obviously, because they're just the publisher and Smilegate is the owner of it now um, because of the buyout of super creative so smilegate has pretty much everything on it so it does look like in may uh everything will be going over to smilegate so the rest of this is just here's the promotional stuff uh it, it talks a little bit about the game uh, nothing really like too big that just basically saying we hope that you continue to play the game and that you enjoy it. Um, now, it is kind of, you know, I've seen a lot of differing opinions on this that, you know, uh, Yostar is the reason why it didn't do very well. But that is also the, the reason why it didn't start very well in JP is because of the Arbiter Vildred, the buff Arbiter Vildred being in Covenants and the fact that, well, they gave everybody just a massive pile of stuff at the very beginning. So like every every JP player who was going to take the game seriously just re-rolled for Arbiter Vildred over and over and over. And then once they got Arbiter Vildred, uh, the whole of Arena was just absolutely covered with Arbiter Vildred and there weren't any counters at the time. There was no ML Haze. There wasn't anything really like that. Uh, so that was one of the problems with the initial launch of the JP server. Now, it has gotten a lot better over time. Uh, I've I watch JP RTA. I know there's quite a few JP players on uh, Twitter that I follow that follow me. Um, so the health overall doesn't seem to be too, too bad. It's going to be interesting to see how uh, the server as a whole takes the introduction into the world arena. Uh, I'm looking forward to that. But uh, it is kind of interesting that, you know, they end this in May. This is going to be around the same time that Smilegate takes over the remainder of the shares of the company from Super Creative. Uh, they are booting, well, Yostar's contract is going to be ending, so everything is going to be under the Smilegate umbrella globally for every server. Uh, I don't believe there's any different. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that the the 
you know, European, the global, everything is still Smilegate as well. Um, but yeah, it is it's kind of interesting. Um, if any JP players are watching this, uh, let me know in the comment section what you guys think of this. How did a Yostar handle it? Um, in JP, do you think that this is going to make any real changes? I don't think it is. Uh, it'll be interesting to see how the uh the twitter is handled for jp and how the live streams are handled for jp because uh at the moment everybody gets information on the kr time right so everything is like put out at the same time you know for global kr eu stuff like that asia servers uh so it'll be interesting to see like how what quality of live stream the JP server gets because when I watch the JP server, when I watch the JP live streams for the information, uh, it was always really well produced, very good production value. I wish that we had that, uh, but it is what it is, right? So anyways, let me know what you guys think in the comment sections. Just a real quick one. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take it easy, homies. Peace. Yeah.